Eddie B here at NAMM 2019 with KUCR Radio. We're at Bader Percussion, drumsticks made in the USA. Mark, what's up? How's it going? It's going great. I'm, ki I'm kind of like losing my hearing a little bit. I can only imagine you, you're here. And for folks that have never been to NAMM and the drum section, it's loud. It is. But you help make that noise. Unfortunately, yeah. Tell me about, tell me about uh, Vader, what's going on? Uh, we got a lot going on. Actually, we got a whole new line called the Classics line. The reason we call them Classics is because the history of the Vader company runs very, very deep. The, really, the backstory of Vader really quick was that it was started, the whole drumstick manufacturing process was started by Jack Adams back in the 1940s at his uh, longtime drum shop in Boston, which unfortunately is now gone for several years. But his longtime drum shop, Jack's Drum Shop, he used to manufacture hand-turned sticks in that drum shop, in the basement of that shop, for all his local drummers. And he would make, you know, just basic models like a 5A, a 7A, you know, a, a jazz stick. And those models, you know, kind of carried on for years down the line into the Vader family where Alan and, and, uh, and Ronnie's uh, father, Clary Vader, along with Alan and Ronnie, we're making the Vader stick brand, or should I say the Vader sticks, but for other brands. So we were an OEM for years before the Vader brand was established in 1992. And one of our biggest customers is also another uh, stick brand that I'm not going to mention, but their name starts with a V. And we made sticks for them in the 80s, uh, pretty much throughout the decade of the 80s, helping to build that brand with them. And what the Classic Series represents is essentially not only a throwback to those sticks that Jack Adams made in his basement for all like the trap kit players back then, but also the stick line that we manufactured as an OEM for that other brand that we would manufacture for in the 80s. So we decided to bring those back, and we have a Classics Jazz, a Classics Big Band, a 7A, a 5B, a 2B, and a 5A model. So essentially all these models are based off the original stick designs in the 80s that helped make some other brands so popular that we uh, would basically manufacture for it. So these are classic 5A, 7A sizes, 5B sizes, 2B sizes, unlike kind of the models that we came out with under the Veda brand back in 92 when we started, because we do, of course, have our own uh, Los Angeles 5A, our Manhattan 7A, our 2B, which are different from these. You know, the sizes are a bit uh, a bit more, uh, I guess, a modern twist on those. So we got back to basics with these models, where these were the original classic designs. Um, so something like the 2B, for instance, um, it's a bit of a, a different size compared to the 2B we have now, that especially the teardrop tip shape that is on this, which really gives a unique feel and sound on the cymbals when you're playing. It's not like the 2B that we have uh, in our standard line, which has just a bigger, bolder tip, and it's just a heavier stick in general. So this is a just a really nice feeling 2B. I would highly recommend uh, checking out this line if you're into the more you know conservative and classic style uh, models that are out there. We also came out with a couple new artist models this year. SGJ Malik. He's been pretty much a YouTube sensation for quite a few years now. He's a, a marching snare drummer, uh, and he's basically a, just a heck of a trickster. If you ever look up SDJ Malik on YouTube you'll see some pretty insane snare drumming tricks as well as some pretty insane chops to go with those tricks. And we finally uh, partnered with him after uh, some years of him being an artist, and he uh, came out with his own signature stick. So if you're a fan of, of marching and, uh, you know, the stuff that he does, definitely check this out. You might not be able to play like him, but uh, it might help you get there. Keep practicing. This one's really cool. This is the Taku... Hirano Katana model. Taku Hirano for years now has been playing as the percussionist for Fleetwood Mac, as well as doing his own independent work. But because uh, of the high demands of his playing in terms of the different textures and sounds that he needs to get from the various instruments in his rig, this stick kind of does it all. As you can see, it's, it doesn't have a tip. It's designed more as a timbale stick, but it does have a taper to it. So it's a little bit thicker at the grip, but it does taper down. So. It's a bit of a combination of a, a drumstick, a timbale stick, as well as just a multi-tool on the other end, where you have this nice rubberized handle for grip, as well as it being very versatile, where you can flip the stick around, you could use it to do cymbal swells, use it on cowbells, other percussion instruments, uh, you know, with the aid of this uh, plastic tip on the end. 
It'll give other percussion instruments maybe a bigger, beefier sound. If you want to hit some bongos or whatever with those, that's where that will come in handy. And the cherry on the top is this little steel nub here that you might find on a lot of brush implements, which you can take that, you can put it right on the cymbal, do some nice cymbal scrapes and get some textures off of maybe some other instruments as well. So it's really a stick that um, maybe for a drum kit player, it's not really what it's designed for, but if you are a percussionist or if, if you're you know interested in getting into percussion and playing a bunch, uh, a bunch of different, having a bunch of different tools on your kit, uh, this is going to uh, fit the bill for, for anything you might hit, put it that way. That's very cool. I like that for somebody with me, my hands are kind of big. I like that it's bigger on the bottom and then it tapers down. Is this is this the, the newest product the, or the most innovative product you guys are working with right now? That is, it's got to be one of the coolest sticks we put out in quite some time. It, it, the most versatile. When, when does it come out? Right now. It's available now. This pair that I'm holding is actually the only pair at the show and in existence. And, he, and he's giving it to me, guys. Well, aside from the pairs that are in our factory, it's in production right now. It's going to be in stores. Basically, as we speak, we're, we're getting these things packaged up, and they're going to get out there. Yeah. Does, does this stick retail for a different price than a typical drumstick? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a bit on the higher end of the, the drumstick price range because it's more of a, a percussion stick. Um, but it's yeah, it's, it's going to be higher than your average like eight dollar drumstick, uh, eight dollar eight dollar drumstick cost. Yeah. What what are our, our drum friends out there looking at in terms of a price for that? The price on this stick in particular, uh, I'm not sure of the actual retail price as of yet. Um, that's that's uh, TBD, but we'll we'll have it out there soon enough, so you'll you'll see. But it's probably probably going to be in the similar vicinity as what you might pay for you know maybe a, a brush or any kind of specialty stick. Right on. Well, thanks so much. Katana, best of luck with everything. Best of luck with the, 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 the new line of sticks. And we appreciate you taking the time to talk with us, man. Great. Peace. Take care. Oh, Mark, that's awesome. That's the only one you got. That's the only one we got. Yeah.